So one of the best things about programming is being able to automate the really boring and repetitive tasks. So that is what today's one day build is going to be about. I've been wanting to find a task that I could automate now for a while, but I haven't had a really good idea on what task I could automate. But then the other day I realized that I use Google Calendar to plan my week, and then I use Time2 to kind of compare how much time I ended up spending on things versus how much time I, use, I planned to spend on things uh, via Google Calendar. So what I have to do is I have to go through at the end of the week and look at all the the different events and tasks that I planned for that week and then I have to calculate what uh, the total time I planned to spend was and then compare that to time two where I get the time that I actually spent. So what we'll be building today is a Python script that should call the Google Calendar API and then get all of my events for that week and then it should calculate and sum up the total time that I plan to spend on each task for that week. All right. Let's start building it. All right, so here's an overview of my uh, current week in the Google Calendar. So we want to sum up this, this and this and find out like how much time is spent doing the red tasks and how much time is spent doing the blue tasks gray green and all that stuff like sometimes it might be that it's the same color but it's a different name so i think the color is going to be better because i usually color coordinate it so the first step would be to write out the actual requirements so what we want the app to actually do all right so uh, this is what i believe are the requirements so i want to be able to get each event or each task by color and then sum up that time and then I also want to sum up the total time so for all the events how much time do I spend now I'll have to go into and try to find out how to work with the Google Calendar API via Python I got this as the response uh, which is the day here so the 24th this is what we get and um, now I need to figure out where I can see the time because this I think this is the time when it starts I think yeah it's the start times of all the events which means that I need to figure out how to get the end time as well so um, that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna look at what the different calls are and how to actually get the different things <laughs> So uh, now I've got the start and end time. So here's the start time and uh, here is the end time and then the name of the task. So, and that was just by here it says start and then start and start. And I just changed that to end and end. I'm not sure exactly what all the different parts of this does, but when I changed it to end, it worked. So uh, that's good enough. I'll create something like a class that's got the actual date and then the start time and the end time and the name of the task and maybe the color of the task. Alright, so now I get the color of each event. So if I run it, then I get this response, which is the hex color code. Then if there's no color, which apparently it is if it's blue, it throws an exception and that's why it took me a while to get that to work, but now it works. So I just catch that exception and say that it's light blue. So then I just need to kind of look at all the different colors and figure out what they represent. I'll try to figure all that out and then I will create a method or something for actually calculating all the stuff that I want to calculate and then printing it out to the screen so that I can see like okay this is how much time I spend on this thing and this is how much time I spend on the other thing but I'm pretty happy uh, it's getting along pretty pretty good now I think it's time to move over to the couch and turn on some how I met your mother
kids, never underestimate the power of destiny. Because when you least expect it, the littlest thing can cause a ripple effect that changes your life. Alright, so now what I've been able to do is get how many hours is in each task. So here you can see this is the hour, this is the hour, this is the hour, and so forth. And it was quite uh, difficult because apparently when you get it back, I got some error like it was the whole date, but when I printed it out, it was it still said just 13 and 15 for the hour. It shouldn't have the date, but apparently it did. So I had to convert that somehow to uh, an integer. And this is how I did that in this method. And then now what's left to do is categorize it. Because right now, if I edit video or something, then I will get several different tasks that are all the same, like edit video. So I need to combine those into one task and then summarize it and give the total time for that, that collection of that task. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So um, now when I run it, I get this, which is a summary of all the time uh, that I will spend on different things. We get the name of whatever activity or category I have set the activity as. And what I did was up here, I created some variables for each color. So this is the tomato, so that's red and that's YouTube. And this is where you can just define that name to be whatever you want. If the color is red and the color is consistent with whatever you're doing, then it should be categorized under the task YouTube. And then I did that for all of these ones. So for Flamingo, Banana, Tangerine, I don't have any tasks currently. So I don't have any names for those. I also created a map that's called color activity and basically each number represents a color. So zero is lavender and one is blueberry. That's just so that I can then, by knowing the color, I can get the, the title of the whatever activity it is. So that down here then, I look through all the colors of the events and then if the color is equal to whatever, then I set color ID of that task to be zero. So that then when I loop through all the different tasks that I have, then I can just check if the ID is zero, then it will get me the lavender task name. So um, this is what it's like right now. The first one here is from 14 which is what the time is right now. The last thing basically is just to make it go for from Monday till Sunday or from Sunday till Sunday or from Sunday till Saturday. Uh, I don't know. So that's the, the last thing. And then it's I'll just make it maybe a little bit nicer in how it's presented. And then uh, that's it. All right. <laughs> All right, I think that we're done and I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger. The way that I did it was that I had to first do this. So I get an end time, uh, which is just the start, the right now date. And then I add seven days with this method. Then we loop through it and then we, we summarize it. So we summarize how much time is spent on each task by the color of that task. And then we print out for whatever task name you have planned to spend this amount of hours. All right, now let's run it and see what happens. All right, so for... Uh, the, maybe I should actually all right I think it's time to go for a little walk Thank you. 
thank God that held. All right, so now I think it should work and we get, yes, we get everything that we want. We get, uh, for exercise, you plan to spend, spend four and a half hours this week. And for my apps, you plan to spend seven hours this week. So basically this is what I can then use. And then I can go into this app and I can look at how much time I've worked to week. Also, this doesn't take in Monday, but I could yeah that's the that's the okay that's the last thing I have to add so that it actually starts on Monday because that's what when this starts so that I can actually get the real week that I am gonna have <laughs> Alright, so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just getting the date, so the start day, which is today, and then I'm getting that day again, and then I'm subtracting the day of the week that it is, because zero is Monday, one is Tuesday, two is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, and so it would subtract two from whatever the date is, and then we should get the current Monday, in this case for me and then it prints all the activities, so this is what it does. It shows us, okay, for exercise you plan seven and a half hours this week, and then we can have a look at calendar and see whether that is correct. So uh, one that's easy is school, which is the gray, and that's seven to nine, which is two hours, and then 11 to 12, which is one hour, and it says three hours here for school, which is the time that I had to spend on it it seems to be working and uh, I'm pretty happy because now I can like I said compare this to what's how much time I actually ended up spending on different things so basically that's how I compare it I look at how much time I plan to spend and that's this summary and then I look at how much time I actually spend and then I can kind of get an idea of whether I should plan more things or plan less things. But yeah, this is a really good example of a task that uh, can be automated very easily with Python. And I'm really happy that I did this because I think I will use it a fair bit. So um, yep, that's it for uh, this one day build. Mm -hmm.